Hello, welcome to the 2010 through 2011 NFL regular season schedule, week one picks, part one of two. With all the chatter that has been going on back and forth, Saints quarterback Drew Brees figures the Vikings may be looking for a little payback. Certainly wouldn't help or wouldn't hurt Minnesota's cause to knock the reigning Super Bowl 44 MVP, who completed an NFL record 70.62% of his passes last season out of the game. Minnesota topped the NFL with 48 sacks last season, led by Jaron Allen's 14 and a half. The Vikings defense also ranked sixth in yards allowed, 305.5 per game. The Saints offense led the NFL in total, total yards, 403.8 per game. And have, have, then they have all their key players back. The biggest changes for the New Orleans came, for New Orleans came on defense, where they will, will be three new starters, including Malcolm Jenkins at free safety, while All-Pro Darren Sharper continues his rehabilitation from off-season knee surgery. Minnesota's offense will be without injured receiver Sidney Rice, while running back Chester Taylor left for Chicago in the offseason. Still, wide receiver Percy Harfin, also a threat in the running game, will be lining up all over the field, and the Saints still have to figure out how to stop Adrian Peterson. Peterson rushed for 122 yards and three touchdowns against New Orleans last year, and who is eager to prove he's overcome his past fumbling problems. Saints fullback Heath Evans summed up the rematch the way. They've got a lot to prove, we've got a lot to prove, and we both know it. So it will be everything it's cracked up to be. But with this, I'm going to have to say it will be the Saints. Yes, they're the Super Bowl champions, and even my Vikings, I don't think we'll be able to match them the whole entire way. But it should still be a pretty good game. I'll say Saints 34, Vikings 23. And that wraps up week one, part one of two. Stay tuned for part two of two later in the week.